What's up YouTube? I'm just another guy and welcome back to my story. So yeah, League Cup final time, baby. Let's let's get into this. 28% win ratio, only our eighth game in charge of any team ever. And we've got ourselves a final to look forward to. So this is the way we are going to line up. So one bit of news or two bits of news I want to talk about. If Ram was injured in our last game, obviously we had to sub him off, but we we don't have another right back. Our backup right back Yusuf is suspended of the game due to picking up too many yellow cards in the comp in the cup competition. So we are going to go with Ifran. We've injected him up for this game. He is, uh, I think it was an ankle injury. He's twisted his, twisted his ankle. He should be out to three to six weeks. But we've injected him up for this match. He will go through this match and then we'll figure out a way to get past the right back issue after that. But yeah, he's going to be trying. To, he's going to play this game. I don't know if he'll play a full ninety, but we've put him in at right back anyway. Ichikawa at centre back, Anua and Azian. Our back four that should be our consistent back four going forward. We have Azik in goal, obviously, I didn't mention. We have Asaraf, who scored his first ever goal for the club and became the youngest ever goal scorer for Geylang International in the process in the previous game. Kazman is playing centre midfield support. He's picked up a light knock. It is, um, what the hell was it? A, a twisted knee. He picked up in training. I think was that in training? I don't think he picked up in a previous game. Yeah, he suffered it in training on the twelfth, so he suffered it yesterday. We are going to start him in this game either way. Um, we have Wahid on the bench, who we can put in there. We could drop Aplin back. I don't. Do I want another centre mid on the bench? Do I have another centre mid in the team? I don't due to injury. So yeah, we're going to go Kazman. We're going to have to just Wahid on the bench. That's the best we can do. Van Husen is a right attacking mid. Uh, I I don't see a reason to drop him. Same with Applin, same with Asman, and same with Siberian. Basically, it's the team that I started the previous match. We've won 4-1. There's no need to change it. Some changes on the bench. Palmer doesn't make the 18-man squad. I want to put Ferran and Miss Juan on the bench just so I have options on the right side and the left side of attacking midfield. And the fact that Ferran can play backup striker means that if I do want to go 4-4-2, that is still a possibility. Yeah, Palmer misses out. I'm, I'm going to go with Samian on the bench instead. So... Yeah, this is the team. We've got DPMM. We've never played. We've never beaten them this season. We have never played them in a final as Galing International. They said this is the first final as Galing International, something I didn't realise. So there's a lot of pressure riding on this, but we aren't expected to win. They are favourites, DPMM. Not massive favourites, but they are favourites nonetheless. So yeah, let's let's go into this. Let's stop delaying and let's go out and see if we can win a final in only our eighth game in charge. Get the assistants to do both of these again. And let's hope that we can win. So, I'm not actually sure whose ground this is. It's not DPMM. DPMM play at a fucking massive stadium. Um, I've clicked on them just so I can see. Where is the final? It is Jalan Bassar Stadium. Who plays here? Young Lions. So, it's, I think it's the national team stadium. Young Lions is a team made up of only Singapore Singaporean players. Uh, so, that's I think that's why we're playing here. But, yes. We have played here. I, th I think we played here in the in the groups. I may be wrong there. But either way, we're on the attack in the first four minutes of the game. Asman with the ball in the box. And we wasted the header at the far post. But we started off brightly. We started off like we did in the last game. Shame we couldn't catalyze with a goal. Looking at their team. They've got two Seds in their team. Sayed, I believe it's pronounced. But <laughs> yeah, Sayed's in their team. But... Yeah, let's let's see. They're on the attack. We've cleared it away. I don't think we're going to find a green shirt, so the ball is probably going to be launched back down at us. Turner Williams, who I think is a foreign player, plays it back. They've found a... Oh, my God. Salah was at the far post and did nothing with it. They've crossed it back in, and my God, what a strike by Simo. Wow, Khalid Simo. What an absolute thundershot. He should have scored here, Salah. I don't know what he, what he did there to miss that. But we had a man-to-man -man in the box. Our young left-back doesn't do his job to mark his man. Doesn't... I don't know what he tries to do there. He doesn't do anything. And we find ourselves behind in the final. 1-0 to DPMM. Uh, better off working with Asman in a better position. We've got to play him left attacking mid to make the formation work. We could drop him back to left mid, but I don't want to do it. We've not really done much. I'm going to encourage the team because we are being dominant. We are dominating possession. We're going to go a bit more positive, actually. Bearing in mind we have a lot of the possession. We have a lot of the ball. Let's see if we can do anything with the ball. With all that possession, I should say. Azean tries to find the ball forward. It's pretty hopeful. We're going to close down the goalkeeper. He's cleared it long, and now they've got a lot of space down this right-hand side. Simo, it looks like he's going to terrorise our left-back all game. I may 
I don't really. I have another left back on the bench, but he ain't much better. So, ah, oh, if ran, if ran, if ran, if ran, if ran. What was that? Said. Oh, his penalty's been saved. Oh, I thought he skied it. I couldn't see with the camera angle. We did well to save the penalty, Razik. But is it Razik or Razak? Razik, I think it's pronounced. Yeah, Razik. Still learning the names, but the rebound was pretty much at him. He probably could have saved that. Ah, 2 0 down. We've not done anything in this game. BPMM, clearly a better team than us. That is upsetting. Uh, tell the team, yeah, tell the team we're disappointed. I don't want to really react. Like, I probably could have, I probably should have done the team talk there. Even though I've got like low motivation, I probably would have got more of a reaction than that. Set P's for DPMM. They've hit the, what was that? Where the crossbar and post meet? What do you call that? The taint of the crossbar or something? <sighs> Missed opportunity. All right, we're going to make a, oh, I've pressed that. Go back to live game. I'm going to make one substitution. We're going to take Asman off. We're going to bring Ferran on. We're going to play him as a inverted winger support. Van Huzen. Oh, just missing these corners. Come on. Get a little on target at least. Saraf. I know it's not an attacking change, but he's not playing well. We're going to bring Wahid on, who is a defensive midfielder, but he should be able to do the ball-winning midfielder role at least somewhat competently. The last change of the pitch. We're gonna we're gonna put Sammy on up on. Oh, not not miss one. God no no not. We're gonna bring Sam um, Sammy on on. Play him as a poacher, and we're gonna go attacking as well. With that in mind, we're gonna do a shout. We're gonna tell the team to show some passion. <sighs> not it's not doing anything. I think the better team just outplayed us today. Really. We're in injury time now. Will we get ourselves a consolation goal? Van Huzen plays it centrally. We get the ball out wide. Ferran is out there. Can he get a crossing? Get on your stronger right foot. No, he plays it back to Azin. What's what's quite disappointing is we might get an opportunity here. Applin can't get his shot away. Kasman with a beautiful thunder shot. We have about two minutes to save our save our final. I think it's too little too late. But something that's quite disappointing is the goal, the first goal came down the right-hand side, which is a weakness, or three, our left-hand side, their right-hand side, which is a weakness of our team. Obviously, we have weak left-backs. Then the second goal was Ifran, who was obviously injured, which is never a good thing, and or carrying a light knock into the game. But yeah, he's also a weak part of the team. So our weaknesses were just exposed today. We don't have good full-backs. It's something I'm going to have to address in the off-season. But we lose our first final 2-1. It doesn't end in the success that we wanted. DPMM win out, uh, go out. Rightful winners, really. We had a th few opportunities. You could tell by the highlights that we probably had a few more opportunity, a few more chances than them to score overall. But once they got their second, it never really looks in doubt, I'll be honest with you. They dominated the first half. Thoroughly deserved a win. They outplayed us. We're going to let Ifran go to his physio now. We don't need him to be injected up anymore. I'll do the cup final off camera. But yes, we finish runners up. DPMM were the overachievers. The best match was a 1-1. Wow, I thought it would have been our 4-1 thumping of Home United. And stopping them on their on their march to the final. But when will I next meet you back? That's probably... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so disappointed with the final defeat. When will I next meet you back? Well, it won't be based on Geylang International. It'll be based on Fuji Under-23. So we actually have our Olympic qualifiers coming up in September 22nd, the 24th and the 26th. And we'll be playing them games all in one video. See if we can get into the top four of, I've got top two, sorry, of the Olympic Games Oceania qualifiers. And then from there, I think there's a semi final and a final. So, same rules apply. If we get to the semis, we'll go to the number one game. If we get to the final, we'll do another, another video separated for the semis and the final. And we'll have one game for the group stages. But that won't be until the 22nd. So, until that game, we will be playing one, two, three four five six games so that'll pretty much get to the end of the season so what i'll do is i'll do an update balusters to dpmm and then if when's the 29th 29th so i'll see us through to the end of the group stages so what i may do is if we have a semi-final depending on when depending on when it falls it may be the case where we have it 
around the time of our final game. So that's the 28th, 29th, 30th. So actually, what we'll do is we'll do, this, we'll do, the, group, do the group stage. Hopefully, we'll qualify through. That'll be obviously fantastic. And that way, I can do a semi-final update you on the final league game of the season for Geylang International. But this will probably be the last Geylang International game you see for this season anyway. Will it be... Will I do the last game? I'm not too sure. We'll see how things go. Is there anything on the line? Maybe a qualification spot or something? We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll do it, give it a go on camera. If not, it'll just be an update. We'll focus on Fiji's under-23s up until the end of this season. I'll do the off-season, obviously, unless anything else comes up for Fuji or any other big news comes up. And then from that point on, we'll go into next season. But yeah, for this year, it'll be about building the formation, building the tactic, trying to familiarise the squad with it, and then also planning into next season, obviously trying to address those weak parts. As you saw in the previous video for the group stages, I had a few trialists in the team. I'm looking for foreign spots to be filled, uh, trying to strengthen certain weak aspects of the team, and also trying to incorporate some youth into the squad in a foreign in the foreigner rule spot. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Sadly, it didn't end the way I wanted it. It didn't end with us in ending our first trophy, but we've got to a final. We've experienced that. We experienced a crushing defeat, and I really don't want to experience that again in this save. So, until next time, guys, peace out.